Some brown parents don't realize how damaging it is to tell a girl to wait till marriage to do what she wants. Okay, real talk. Uh, what is with this whole getting married and living in a joint family? Um, it's not really part of Islam, but I think it's like a cultural thing. Um, I chose to live with my in-laws downstairs because my son loves them and my mother-in-law is the sweetest person. I mean, I literally have to call her if, you know, she's so like non-intrusive. So it worked. I liked her personality and I was like, you know what? They're great. My, whenever I need somebody to help out with my son, they're just downstairs. But a lot of people don't have the choice to choose like if they want to do that or not. They're kind of like, it's just part of their culture. And there's so many weird dynamics with like sister-in-laws and brother-in-laws living together and marriage is hard enough so and, I, and, I, and a lot of them continue to do this even when they move abroad like to the UK or the US um, so if you think you're gonna get freedom and you're gonna be moving into a house with like 10 11 more people yeah it's not happening judgment and I, I have stories for days like I can't name people because obviously they watch these videos, but like people are scared to go shopping so they sneak things in because now it's not just their husband, it's like the mother-in-law or the sister-in-laws are all involved. Life is too short to be uh, having to manage and make sure that all these people emotions are regulated like no, 